Hi folks, in this video I take my Savage Bobber to the park to see how she flies. I made a travel box to carry the Savage Bobber on my bike. We need to test out the little Savage Bobber to see how she flies. Day one didn't go well, as you can see from the video. There was a bit of a breeze, uh, also I hadn't tightened up the tubing that connected up the push rods and I think some of my ales were due to the fact that the trim was going way out. Uh, so I never actually managed to keep it in the air day one. Very disappointed and very down in the tooth. Okay, so day one was a total disaster. After securing the push rods, I headed out for another test flight and I had a little bit more success than the previous day. Okay, we're gonna see if this little savage bobber flies. We'll try a hand launch. Day two had a bit more success after securing the rods. But any attempt at a right hand turn ended badly. Oh. This time I actually managed to get a five minute flight out of it. And I was able to analyse the flying characteristics a bit better. Oh, it flies. Oh, trying to go for that tree. This was really scary because it started doing its duck and dive right over the tree. Oh, it's going all weird. I don't like that fancy little manoeuvre. Need to get to the bottom of it. Don't know what that was about. After the second day I managed to get some flight time in which was great. I did however do quite a few crashes which I found the fuselage was a little bit delicate so I decided to complete filling in the foam sections on top and I also added some tissue around the rear sections to give it a bit more strength which has worked out quite well. I also noticed the right wing wasn't quite aligned with the left wing so uh, on advice from my brother I decided to use the steam on the kettle to do some wing warping to try and get the wings a bit better like aligned. We'll see how we get on with uh, the third attempt. Will it fly? Some improvement here is I'm now able to do a right hand turn. You can see it severely crabbing to the left here. Even though it's not flying great, I was pretty happy that I was actually able to get some flight time in today and bring it home in one piece. Hopefully the problems I've got uh, can be rectified. After the third day, I noticed that the Savage Bobber was still slide slipping quite badly through the air. I had a look at the wing alignment and the left hand wing was still not quite right so I applied some more steam. Uh, this actually made quite a lot of difference to the flight performance on the next test. Hey, I think I might have got it flying right. Although not yet perfect, this was quite an improvement from the last time. Yeah, it finally feels like I'm in control. I was able to do a little bit of aerobatics, but afterwards the plane felt a little bit unstable. I think we're running out of power. After doing further wing warping, I found that the Savage Bobber flew a lot better. I was actually able to do right hand turns okay, and it 
I actually felt like I was in control at last. Uh, it's still not perfect. Uh, I'm going to do a bit more wing warping. And I've also configured the transmitter so that there's a little bit of rudder mixed in with the ailerons. Kind of reminded me, I was thinking back to Piper Tripaces, which I think link up the rudder with the ailerons. And this is a little bit like a little stubby tripaces, so I thought maybe that will help it. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, it looks like the wing warping has worked. I just need to get the trim right. Certainly doing right hand turns is a lot easier now. I think the uh, mix has really helped turns as well, mixing the rudder in with the other one. Wow. I feel like I'm in total control. Yep, and it seems to be okay after I do rolls and loops. That's a bit fine. Oh, nearly hit the hot hockey goal then. Oh, we've run out of power. It was a flight time of just over six minutes with the 220 milliamp hour battery. Good. Seems to really like flying around at this speed. I think I've got the trim right now for this battery. That's better. Whoa, that's quite a flick rate. <laughs> got a lot of movement there. Let that on only. Great, you have to do right turns at last. Getting a great flight out of it today. And it's actually fun to fly. It's a fly aboard it. Getting a good flight time out of these two 500 mAh batteries that I've set up in series. Make a 2S battery out of them. I think the ideal compromise would be about a 350 mAh battery pair for weight versus flight duration. The 220 flies great, but it's just a little bit short, I think. Recommended was 150 to 200 mAh battery. It's only a 100 gram plane. Look at these trees are like magnets. They must attract wind around them. It sucks the plane into them. Just a gentle breeze today. Little pockets of air there it picks up on. It's quite sensitive to buffeting. There's no uh, gyro stabilization in this model. <coughs> which would be great for wind mitigation, but it's just the way it came with the receiver that worked with my FlySky transmitter. Oh, I think we've run out of power. So what are my conclusions about the Savage Bobber? Well, I wasn't very happy with the way my construction went. None of the ply formers fitted very well into the plastic parts. Uh, consequently, the plane came out not completely straight, and I think this has caused all the problems I've had with trim and side slipping and so forth. If I was building it again, I would probably spend a bit more time trimming down and making sure all the ply parts fit into the plastic parts before I start gluing. Also, when I glued up the wings, I didn't actually have them on a flat surface, I just had a couple of rollers with clothes pegs holding them shut. 
I think with hindsight it would have been better to have the wings sitting on the flat surface and have weights on top. That would have ensured that the uh, wings themselves weren't warped at all. Now that I uh, can actually do left and right turns, I'm actually a lot happier with the Little Savage Bobber, which I bought as a replacement for my F949S, which uh, I lost in a thermal some time back. I just really wanted a small plane that was fun to fly in the park, uh, that I could fly near me, uh, maybe do a little bit of aerobatics high up in the air, um, without you know too much stress. Uh, would I recommend the Savage Bobber to someone? Well, yeah, it was kind of fun building it. Um, although I think I'd, <laughs> I really want to build another one just to go through the exercise and do a better job, which I won't, of course. It's a little bit different to buying a foam plane that's already made up where you just take it out of the box and fly it. It was actually quite fun building it. Uh, I was just very disappointed at the beginning how it flew and uh, how, uh, I guess, fragile it is. Uh, now that I've added the tissue paper to the rear sections, that's actually made it a lot more robust because those little parts can break quite easily uh, when you dive it in. Thanks for watching, and as usual, if you'd like to stay updated on my progress, you can subscribe to Dave's Fun RC channel. Bye for now.